This is Witchbase News for Friday the 7th of June 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news, Sagittarius I is this weeks community goal, there's a circumnavigation of the galaxy coming up and you can participate and a stunning video of a sidewinders interior surfaces. If you enjoy our content then please remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. Remember you can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to both of those and also where you can find us on all your favourite social media platforms are in the description below. Print media behemoth and friend of the channel Sagittarius I have a community goal running in the game right now and that has just galloped past its second tier and, as at the time of recording, is well on its way to reaching tier 3. When completed the community goal will result in a new asteroidal base serving as an orbital print works for the galaxy's favourite monthly journal. It's a really accessible CG asking for either tantalum, titanium or cobalt to be brought to McMullen Ring in the Milesi system. A large portion of the Burr Pit regulars jumped into the CG last night and found that all three commodities were available very close to the target system allowing for very fast turnarounds and some shameless profits as well as the bonus payment when the CG finishes next week. If you've not participated in a community goal before and we had at least one freshman with us last night then this is a great opportunity to get your hooves wet and make some moolah on the side as well as giving back to the kind folks at Sagittarius I who work so very hard every month. If you've not had your fill of long ranged exploration with the completion of the Distant Worlds expedition recently then Sergeant Stubby on the Frontier forums has a significant challenge for you. The Pegasus Run plans to see a flotilla of ships leaving the bubble to complete a circumnavigation of the entire galaxy. The organisers expect the mission to be out in the black for up to a year but all the waypoints which are spaced at about 10,000 light years apart will be available from day 1 so it's possible that some participants will complete the grand tour in as short a time as 6 months if they absolutely cane it. Whilst not a rigidly guided tour like Distant Worlds was, if commanders follow the year long organised schedule they should be back well in time to see the launch of the 2020 update of the game. Whilst commanders will be out in the black, possibly alone for a very very long time, there is also of course the outside chance that you'll be away from the bubble for the decimation of mankind by a colossal Thargoid invasion force so that's nice. The trip is not perhaps for the more inexperienced commanders but if you're game for the challenge then there's links below to get you started. YouTuber FRJ has been producing conjectural layout videos showing where interior modules might fit in some of Elite ships for some time now. They're really quite excellent and always worth a look however in FRJ's latest video the commander has seriously outdone themselves. The video shows what a walk around of a sidewinder parked on an earth like world might look like outside and inside the ship and it's really something to see. The attention to detail in the video is quite excellent with some personal highlights being the neatly stowed SRV and the HUD startup sequence at the end. The Sidewinder is obviously the smallest of the jump capable ships in Elite and this video shows just how huge they really are something that perhaps doesn't always come across in the game. At least not yet. I urge you to give it a look and be sure to subscribe to FRJ's channel to catch the commanders future videos. They're always excellent. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 commanders follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.